Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month, taken from the NPL Defect Database. My name's Bob Willis and this month let's talk about pad cratering. Now pad cratering generally is a fairly new phenomenon. This particular defect has been seen mostly with large BGA packages and certainly with lead-free alloys as opposed to tin lead. It has also been seen more commonly on high TG materials where the epoxy is more brittle than traditional FR4 laminate materials. Now pad cratering has been mostly associated during uh, testing of board assemblies where dropping of the assembly onto a hard surface has caused the board and component to buckle and literally breaking the interconnection of the epoxy joint between the laminate surface and the copper pad. A number of solutions have been suggested in the industry and you need to consider which option is the best. Changing the solder alloy may be an option. Different lead-free alloys are more ductile than some others. Look at the adhesion characteristics of the copper to the laminate that you're using and specifying on your printed circuit board. Also, you could consider looking at resistifying pads as a way of mechanically bonding the pad to the surface. But there are some other issues associated with resistifying pads. Look at increasing the size of the corner pads on large BGA packages. So leaving all other pads the same, but perhaps the two, three, or maybe four pads on the outer extremity of the package make them slightly larger. So that increases the actual solder joint size in these areas, perhaps making it more likely to stand up to drop testing. 